Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we are about to watch Sony's first State of Play event for 2021 and I am a little bit excited to see what games we are going to be getting for this year at least or at least get some deep dives into some games you know, previously ga games that have been announced and also hopefully some brand new game announcements as well. Um, you know, we, we might see some Horizon Zero Dawn, though we probably... I mean, I'm, I'm not expecting anything from God of War Ragnarok. Horizon Zero Dawn, I'm probably a little bit more keen to see something of that, if there's anything. But otherwise, I am hoping to see some awesome uh, indie games as well. So, before we get into the show, if you do enjoy this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel as well to get more videos and reactions like this. Let's get into the show. Here we go. There's some very oh, unexpected that's our developments crash bandicoot. in your future. Shocking events that will change the course of your life. Did Crash Bandicoot already come out? <laughs> that last part might have been a hair crash drag. Ball? But there's lots of awesome updates and additions. Coming to the Crash Bandicoot 4, it's a okay, so these are updates. on okay. PlayStation 5. Yeah. <laughs> hey everyone, I'm Lou Stutter, creative producer at Toys for Bob. I'm here to give you the feature rundown of Crash Bandicoot 4 I have on to play this game. That includes 4K at 60 frames per second, 4K. adaptive triggers, ah, okay. 3D audio, Adaptive triggers up. So, so, so PS5 updates, fun. okay. I need to play this Crash game. Bandicoot I've played the other three Crash Bandicoot Crash Bandicoot, Bandicoot 4, it's about time. We find the evil masterminds Neocortex and Dr. Entropy escaping a once-thought inescapable interdimensional prison, leaving giant holes in the universe. What follows is a mind-bending adventure for Crash and his marsupial pals. We designed Crash Bandicoot 4 to leap off your screen, brimming with bold, vibrant environments and characters. Crash Bandicoot has always looked pretty suave. But wait until you see him spinning heads in native 4K at 60 Who's that? Per second. Who was that with the blonde team? Oh, the, 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 the weight blue of the universe team. on your shoulders Poco? and probably some errands to run. There's little time to wait on loading screens. The DualSense wireless controllers bring a dash of triggers Poco's to your here. fingertips. Who's that? So you can feel the blast of Neocortex's DNA-changing ray gun. Or feel the grip when you grapple a ton of hookshot. Hold on tight when you feel the boost of crashes. So these levels are still bad. <laughs> really feel the suck when you vacuum as Dingo Dial. Oh, I forgot that Looking you got to, to play as Dingo Dial. In the Crash Bandicoot universe, crank it up to 11 and take your audio into an all new dimension with enhanced 3D audio. I'll tell you what, this game looks Achieving so wacky. And I, I, I want to play this. A sign of a true Bandicoot master. But should our genetically mutated marsupial lose his way? Leverage PlayStation 5 activity cards to track your progress yeah, and hit yeah. your goals for things like time trials, flashback levels, and boss fights. So those activity cards have already experienced a few that. games that have started using those. You can bring those. your incomplete so... save over from the PlayStation 4 and you use the activity cards to get to 106%. Yeah. So oh, the activity cards kind thing. of guide you, you towards getting the PS4 trophies. version of the game, an upgrade option is available. Check out the PlayStation blog for full okay. details. Yeah, so Whether it's you... your first playthrough or your hundredth, there's no better time to experience Crash Bandicoot 4. It's about time it looks on so PlayStation wacky. 5. It's so much fun. It's pretty much all that I wanted from a Crash Bandicoot, like a, a new Crash Bandicoot game, you know? So, March 12th. So, for those who don't know, the action Welcome cards back, are things Crash. that guide you towards Gang's all here um, on today's getting new the edition trophies. Of State and now of ultimately the We've platinum. got some great updates lined up for you. Here we go. First, let's check out the latest on an eagerly anticipated game coming to the PS5 console this spring oh, from PlayStation saw... Studios. Okay, I think we saw this game uh, hey everyone, at the last conference. We at Housemark are excited to give you this sneak peek at What's Returnal. Returnal, okay. In Returnal, you will play as Selene, an Astra Scout. Welcome, Selene. Crash lands on an alien planet, Atropos, right. after receiving a mysterious signal, White Shadow. Mysterious signal, Players crash lands on a planet. Players will explore this gotcha. dark planet in search for answers and unfold mysteries, which may point to a larger force at play. Dashing oh, some gameplay, okay. Your way above and around enemies is key to survival in return. So like, so, okay, so she's on an alien planet fighting some aliens. Some crazy looking aliens. I wonder, because you see a life bar above the bad guys, I wonder, is this like an RPG game maybe? With the large variety of enemies and the vast number of unique movesets each possess, combat situations prove challenging no matter what the circumstances are. Death is only the beginning. Like a shooter RPG or something. 
Death is the beginning? Oh, okay. So it's like, could she like come back to Every life Every time you die and restart, the world will change. The map will be different. Enemies will appear in new locations and in differing numbers. So we procedurally generated. And adapt. The environment. Here you can see the use of the lightning alt fire. Which so, is great for crowd So control. procedurally generated map. One you die, it just re resets the, the map. The game. But it like, it transforms the map. Yeah, okay. A, a, a lot of roguelikes do that too. Like every time you go into a level, whether you die or you pass and you try to go back, it, it like changes the layout and, and the enemy locations and things like that. So. You will stumble across mysterious devices that can grant rewards to the player. These will vary from weapons, consumables, and upgrades, and they can completely change your playstyle and make each cycle feel unique. This looks fun. I'm writing this game down. Hold on. Let me write this Besides down. Besides the intense combat, Returnal also has a deep and engaging narrative. We allow players to piece together the puzzle that is the story of Selene as they venture deeper and deeper into Atropos and into her personal nightmare. That's... That can't be here. I'm definitely adding this one to my playlist because of the fact that third person shooter as well. I can't play first person. But third person, you can. Some parts are missing, others seem manufactured. But I can remember the torment, feeling like I was losing my mind. There's no comfort here, no safe space. Exactly as I left it. As long as the interior stuff isn't first person, I just I just panicked there at the end when she walked into the building and went to a first person zoom and I thought Returnal lands I on <laughs> April 30th and it's developed by the talented team at Housemark. As long as it gives you the option to switch between third Next, and first. Next, let's take a I closer guess, look but... at a high impact new PS4 game called Knockout City. But if it's like Deus Ex where it locks you into a first person. Ah, uh, okay, so we saw this at, on the Nintendo Direct last week. Don't, this is Knockout City, Dodgeballs. So this Hi, is coming to I'm PlayStation. Josh from Bell & Studios. Okay. We're an indie developer based in upstate New York, and we recently announced Knockout City, a team-based multiplayer action game for PS4 where rival crews settle their scores with epic dodgeball battles. Knockout City is easy to pick up and play, but there's a lot of depth here for those who've got the skills. In our 1v1 face-off mode, you'll go head-to-head -head in a constantly shrinking battleground, relying on your reflexes and abilities to a knock out A constantly shrinking opponent. battleground. A battle royale. A well royal. catch yeah. powers up the ball, making it easier to land This is hit. Fortnite with dodgeballs. Use trick shots to lob a ball over a ledge or hook it around a corner. Fake a throw to mess up your opponent's timing and knock them out before they can recover. When you're in a tough spot, I wonder with the if ball this is going to be like a free to play game. Dodge is the you know, like Fortnite, Apex Legends, in the fight. you know, similar games that are Keep like your wits that battle you royale. Outplay your opponent so. to bring home a win. Because they announced Let's this last week on KO, Nintendo Direct. Three v three. So. Teamwork makes the dream work in Knockout City. If your crew is outmatched, a well-coordinated team can still dominate. We're playing in Back Alley Brawl, a new map that you'll find in our upcoming crossplay beta. The special ball for this match is the Sniper Ball, which locks onto targets from far across the map and wham! You can take them out before they have a chance to react. Hello. Beyond special balls, each map features a unique mechanic. In Back Alley Brawl, you can hop into a tube and make a quick getaway or use them to sneak up on your opponent. I mean, it looks like it's going to be a hell of a lot of fun for like, for, like kids and things like you that. You can but... literally become the ball, I, I don't a know, new I'm weapon not... for your teammate. I'm not digging this whole game. I'm not digging the experience of playing dodgeball. Charge up a teammate, launch them high into the air with an ultimate throw, and they'll land in a huge instant KO explosion. The team here at Velen has been obsessed with building this world over the last four years. Knockout four years. City is coming out May 21st, and we'd love your help in our final stretch of development. Rally your crew and sign up for our crossplay beta at knockoutcity.com to play early on PlayStation. Okay. See you soon, brawlers. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, the game looks cool, but like, I don't. Unless it's like free to play, I'm probably not going to play it at all. Um, like, if it's free to play, then there's no harm in downloading it and giving it a go, you know. But like, if it's if I'm going to pay for Time it, for, for example, something I'm, not, new. I'm, I'm not going to play. Here's it. I your know that first much, look so. at an upcoming PS5 game Ooh. from the team at Slow Clap. First look. So this is uh, a, a premiere, yeah. What are we looking at? What's this? Slow Clap. Okay, come on. Ooh, the art style's pretty... 
purposefully cartoonish, I guess. Oh, here we go. Like a, like a, like a knock him out, or beat him up type of game. Hopefully. Hopefully it's like a beat him up type of game. I wonder though, is this a cutscene cut not gameplay? Maybe? Oh. What? He just grew a, just grew a beard like that. <laughs> what? Okay, so it's like a beat him up game. Yes! Nice! <laughs> Sifu, I'm writing that one down. This is definitely one to keep an eye on. Keep an eye on. Sifu. That was the debut of Sifu coming to the PS5 console later this year. Dude, that now one is going on my list. Now let's get an update on Solar Eternal. Ash, an epic new PS5 adventure from Heart Machine. Solar Ash, okay. See, I suspected we were gonna get a bunch of indies, but we got some really good ones coming. Sifu, Return was a good one. What's this? Solar Ash. Hey everyone, I'm Alex Preston. It's got like a no man's planet. Of Heart Machine. You know, you might art know us style as the team behind Hyperlight Drifter. Today, I'm here to show you the first peek at gameplay for our new title, Solar Ash. Solar Ash is a huge, stylish 3D platformer focused on speed, movement, and fluidity. The game is set inside a giant black hole known as the Ultra Boy, which has been consuming everything in its path. You play as Ray, a daring void runner who has decided to venture into this terrifying anomaly as a last ditch effort to save her home world. Ray is extremely agile, able to speed across the world with abilities akin to skating. On the ashen clouds, she can quickly cover great distances in our huge world. Yeah. So, so it's, 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 a, it's like a 3D. At its core, Solar Sonic Ash is the a game about movement, and Ray has everything she needs to flow through the dangerous and unique world. Okay. Cool, cool. So it's an open world like platforming. As you journey to save Sonic the planet, the you'll find yourself face to face with grotesque and violent creatures. Our combat system is simple. It fast, reminds me of the um built to empower players. The way that this game kind them. of looks, it reminds me of that um that other game that came out with As the bow and arrow. The, the bow and arrow, the one which is a fast runner, scale, and she bow and arrow is and and bad guys. The Some one, of these came creatures out require speed and precise timing to defeat. But it has like a, a No Man's Planet like art style to it, doesn't it? Interesting. Ray will eventually need to face the massive sentinels of this void. Oh, the sentinels, Wretched, okay. Wretched, starved beasts that hold the key to her quest. Ah, here we go. So the, the big boss fights, yep. It's like Shadow of the Colossus like, isn't it? Solar Ash is Heart Machine's vision of the adventure platformer. The giant spaces, the feel of movement, the flow of combat, and the high stakes battles atop enormous beasts all come together to bring players something we think is incredibly unique, and more importantly, fun. It's all about the fun, exactly. This game so. is a labor of love for everyone on the Heart Machine team. We're excited to bring Solar Ash to PS5 and PS4 later this year. Genuinely curious about it. I don't know if I'm gonna get it and play it, but I'm genuinely curious if to find out more about this game. Scary games. This next one scary is scary games. Oh, come on, please, Silent Hill. Come on. When I first found you, you were nothing. You were small, pathetic. But now, you are more. Are you ready? Ah, uh, is this the, um, this isn't Silent Hill, damn it. This is that, yeah, the Five Nights at Freddy game. I forgot that game was coming out. I've never, look, I haven't played, I've played Ultimate Custom Nights. I've never played the uh, Five Nights at Freddy game, games though. So, but I have played Ultimate Custom Night. 
Who knows? We might break that. We might buck that trend and actually play this game. You'll see. Gregory, we can get you out of here. You and me together. As long as it's not like, you know, first person. If it's third person, hey, we're good to go. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. It's first person. Yeah. Then we're going to give this one a miss. But, you know. We have to get you out by morning. You will do as I say. You will bring me what I want. To those who don't know, I can't play first person games because I get nausea. Uh, you know, motion sickness. So. I mean, it looks really cool. It, it gives off the vibe of being in like a kid's arcade play center, but with obviously, you know, robots and animatronics kind of trying to kill you. Um, there is more going on here than you realize. Yeah, I've played Ultimate Custom Nights. You know, where, where, where you get to like choose the animatronics that kind of come into your level, so you can. And then, of course, there's Dee Dee who. That was a chilling a new look guy. at so, Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Okay. Up next, let's take a tour of Oddworld Soulstorm. Right, yes, yeah, Soulstorm. Hi, I'm Lauren Lanning, creative director at Oddworld Inhabitants. Today, I'm going to take you on a brief tour of our newest game, Oddworld Soulstorm. They've always known you would come. Do you know why you have? This one's on my list. In Soulstorm, Definitely. you reprise the role of come Abe, on. accidental hero turned unlikely leader of an emerging revolution. As you do battle through weird and wonderful environments in an effort to escape the all-powerful and eternally greedy Gluckens. Oh, I love the Abe games. We really wanted to bring this world to life with what we call 2.9D platforming, which adds yeah, much more depth yeah. and immersion for the player. This sense of connection is also reinforced through the use of the dual senses haptic feedback as you'll now be able to feel Abe's heartbeat in high alert and suspenseful situations. Could feel his heartbeat, say, on the controller? There are well over 1,000 cool. fellow Mudokins that you must try to save along the way, but they are far more than helpless workers looking to be saved. When used effectively, you'll be able to solve puzzles, harness their combined energy, and be given the tools they need to fight alongside you. Oh, really? And there will nice. be times when the extra uh -oh. hands will be needed as you face off against an array of heavily armed enemies that will stop at nothing to find and end Abe once and for all. I mean, I, I, I love the Abe games on PS1. In order to so stand what a chance this against it this just much larger so threat, we gave Abe the ability to or at least scavenge, play this loot, game. and pickpocket items from his surroundings and use them to craft an impressive arsenal of his own that he can share with others. So they've added a lot more depth to the gameplay. You can it's also not just, play as you know, a non-lethal pacifist or an agent of chaos. Uh -huh, we wanted pacifist. you to have the choice. Go for the pacifist run. We but there is one iconic yep. ability for our shamanic protagonist, possession. This mystical power allows you to take control of your foes and use their strengths and weapons against them or use them to gain access to paths still ahead. The Oddworld universe is a diverse place, and this means that there are some environments and situations that require a little more thought, patience, and stealth. You'll find dark and dangerous caves, heavily guarded industrial sites, and ancient forgotten lands. Here, we've built lots of opportunities for you to test your skills See, and find different ways to handle it's, it's things. It's like with the Crash Bandicoot 4 game, and now it this won't game. Be easy. You know, if being hunted by an army backed by a shady and wealthy organization isn't bad enough, there are also more dangers in the forms of natural obstacles, ancient traps, like, trials against so, you know, like Crash Bandicoot creatures, that we saw before, and industrial hazards making that must new be games set in older franchises, but not, they're not changing it a Abe's hell of a lot. Like, it's, hope, it's different freedom, because obviously it's, it's there's a rich and engaging narrative um, to discover or, or in a world full of lies, but, and we've been able to bring our characters to life like never before. But in it's still the same, fashion, same, but different, you know? It doesn't change. will decide the fate of Abe the and all those you manage to liberate along the way. So, and we can't wait to see what you will do. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm pumped. Give me this game. Where is it? April 6th. Oh, let's write this one down for the books. Yeah, like, like, like it's, it's same, same, but different. You know, they, they've still got that uh, the old school mechanics. They've added a couple of new features. They've made it, you know... Almost that a was the latest like, on Oddworld Soulstorm. Plane, and here's some exciting news. Active PlayStation Plus members will get the PS5 version for no extra cost, starting in April. What? 
Moving on. It's time to catch up with Kina and Bridges it's Spirits, Plus. a gorgeous new adventure we last saw on the June PS5 showcase. So PS get it for free, no extra cost, in April. So we're getting it in April! That's gonna be excited. Soulstorm. Alright, what's this? like an RPG game? Yes, nice. I mean, it looks like it's going to be an RPG, maybe. The rats are quite fond of you. They're usually timid. Or is it going to be like a Pikmin kind of game? Something tells me you did not come to our village looking for a forest creature. Where these little creatures are going to like help you get Hello, past spirit. puzzles and stuff, maybe. I seek passage to the sacred mountain shrine. <sighs> Our village is bound to the shrine. Usually it looks really good. But that power faded long ago. Here we go. Yeah, visually it looks really good. I mean, until we see like gameplay, like actual gameplay. Like this. Dude. Okay, so probably not like an RPG. Maybe more like puzzle, like like a Hellblade kind of game. You know, like puzzle solving. You must help these spirits if you wish to reach the mountain. It's okay. You have to go now. The music's really good. But the music is really uplifting, you know? This one to my watch list. Oh, damn, these, some of these games are really intriguing. I like it. I'm really enjoying this uh, this event so far because we've seen some, you know, between like Soulstorm, there was that beat 'em up game, Seeker, I think. Returnal looks cool. Guide is I think we one. actually I think we did see this last year at the uh, PlayStation event, I think. Now let's settle in for a stylish new look at Deathloop, a PS5 first person oh, shooter developed yep. by the team at Arcane. Yeah, Death Deathloop is that, yeah. What? Yeah, first person shooter, so there's no never here. Just you, me, and the rest of these main. Yeah, we saw this at the last PlayStation event, so we'll probably get to see more Great, gameplay baby. here. <laughs> But again, because it's a first-person game, I'm not going to be this too interested in this one. This is Frank's matinee. This little ditty goes out to the handsome asshole trying to break our loop. Cold. The visionaries are ready to dance. Are you? Toxic illusion. Falling deeper spiral. Okay. Because was, was this game like an like an online like like you play with other players? You just in, in like a beat 'em up, like, like like a battle royale style mode, or or do you reckon? Because it looks like this game might actually have a story mode to it. So again, I haven't looked too deeply into this game because the moment I hear first person, I kind of just tune out. So, but I, I thought this game was like an online shooter, like like like, like, like a battle royale kind of game. As opposed to having like a story mode offline, or you know, online story mode.
I mean, with, with, with a title like Deathloop, you kind of expect him, yeah, some kind of, like, Groundhog Day kind of mechanic, because it's Luke. has like a 007 kind of vibe to it, you know? One of those intro songs that they play at the start of a James Bond film. Song's over, people. And so is Ramblin' Frank. The rest of you motherfuckers are next. And it definitely looks to have like an old, uh, yeah, it's got that like old style, like uh, Rodriguez leave, kind of How about a vibe. huge update for one of 2020's most celebrated games? Oh, Final oh, Fantasy 7, okay. The 7 remake. Give me a break. Jesse, Barrett. Where you been? Uh, I, I need to play this as well. It's, so the only reason I haven't played the remake yet is because I'm, I, ha I haven't played the original seven. So I want to play the old Final Fantasy seven before I play the remake. You know. So, but this definitely looks cool. I mean, I love Final Fantasy games, and so I, I don't need an excuse to get back into Final Fantasy games. A touching reunion. <laughs> Here we go. Is this like episode two? Well, guys, your girl finally made it to me. So I released God. episode one, so is this the next chapter? My name is Yuffie, Materia Hunter and Elite Special Forces Operative for the new Wutai government. We'll prove to our common enemy that Wutai is not to be trifled with. Members of Avalanche, we got this. I'm back. Ah, there you are. Someone's been expecting you. What took you? Sorry about that. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. I'm Sonon Kasakabe. Where's Clown? We lost him. You what? He will be okay though, right? Well, of course he will. They're the ones who blew up the reactors. So are these cool. new characters who Should are coming in? Hi? I, I know Yuffie, I think oh, she's from, better. uh, I think After I've seen her in the Kingdom done. Hearts games. You gotta assume Shinra's on the tail. Maybe? Look, a Moogle! Because hmm? I haven't played Final Fantasy VII, so I don't know these characters. We gotta help. Like, I don't know whether these are original characters from this remake, or if they are from the older game that are coming into this, but... I I think Yuffie is from the original. I think I remember seeing Yuffie in, like, Advent Children as well. So I've seen the Advent Children, um... movie. That was Final Fantasy VII, I think it was a sequel to it. I just haven't played the, the older game. Or this one. But they're definitely both on my playlist. So. Boss. Get wrecked. You guys should probably get moving. Got it. Whatever it is they're planning, you're better off out of it. They deserve what's coming to them. Yeah, they do. But I'm not your sister. There you are. Who are these jerks? No clue. They just appeared. Integrate, what's that? No. Let the hunch begin. Seven so remake Integrate. So is, is Integrate like the next chapter? Like the second episode? Or is this like a Get down here? That was Integrate. Graphics on PS5, yeah, cool. Oh, okay, okay, so they've up the PS5, okay. Okay, so we're back to the I can't really tell too much of a difference, to be honest. <laughs> I'm looking at the PS5 on the left, the PS4 on the right. My monitor's not really outputting them as I was hoping, anyway, so... 
Okay, you can see that there's, there's extra lighting there on the textures and stuff, so... You got, you got the lens flare. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, there's a difference. I, I can spot a little bit of a difference now. It's a little bit more obvious in some of the darker scenes, yeah. Fog effects, yeah, okay. Yeah, lighting. Dude, so if I'm going to play Final Fantasy VII Remake, we're waiting for the PS5 version. That's it. I guess it's good that I skipped out on the PS4 version so I can actually play this for the first time on the PS5. And, and, and also, we'll, we'll play the uh, this integrated version, whatever it is. Obviously, after we finish the original. After we start and finish the original 7. So... Okay, so 60 frames per second, yep. Dude, I'm really excited. Like, I'm really excited to play this game. I, I, I know this game is already out. I get that. But because I haven't played this before, so I'm, I'm really excited. And the more I see, the more excited I'm getting. So... Okay, so new episode. Here we go. We are getting some new apps. So some extensions to the game. <laughs> you see that? <laughs> That's how ninjas do it. Yep. I mean, how, how long? How long did the did the episodes go for? Because the first episode they released was that like what, fifteen to twenty hours, or was that a bit bigger than that? Okay, and then you can carry everything across for free. Yeah, upgrade for free. Dude. So the so the new episode will only be on the PS5, it looks like. Because it says that the the episode with Yuffie is only available that once you upgrade the to the PS5. That was the reveal of Final so. Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, coming to the PS5 console later this year. Integrate. I still have no idea what Integrate and means, but that's let's our go show. We hope you're as excited as ah. we are for what's to come in 2021. So that was the big, time. okay, that, that's the big show, the big reveal. Before we wrap this video out, I just wanted to kind of give my thoughts on some of the games that got announced. So there were, there were games there like Crash Bandicoot 4, uh, you know, the Final Fantasy VII Remake, Integrade. Um, and on top of that, I think there was also Soulstorm. So, so there were a few games there that we've already known about for, for some time. You know, Crash 4, I think, already got released on the PlayStation 4, uh, but I think... And I, I thought it already came out on the PS5 as well, but it seems like this is now coming to the PS5 with some new features as well. Things like the adaptive triggers, uh, you know, I mean, for those who haven't played with the PS5 controller, it's a feature that I've noticed in some in some games in the early stages, and I am really excited for, to, to, to experience how Crash Bandicoot 4 kind of uses the adaptive triggers. And it's something that going forward, I, I would love to see more games try and, you know, incorporate the adaptive triggers into the gameplay some, somewhat, because... You know, there have been some games I've played that had the adaptive triggers, and they have used it interestingly, and, and, and I feel like there's a there's potential there to kind of, I don't know, you know, in, increase the immersion aspect, I guess, you know, for the players on the basis of of, of how they use these adaptive triggers, I should say. Um, they opened up the show with Crash 4, and that was actually pretty cool. Um, again, like, we didn't, we didn't really see a hell of a lot that was a lot different to what we've already previously seen. Similar like with Soulstorm, uh, you know, the comments I made earlier in the actual React video, um, you know, Soulstorm and Crash Bandicoot, they, 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 they've done a great job of, of creating new games in existing franchises of old without changing a hell of a lot. Like, obviously they've changed them, you know, quite a bit because these are games made with modern day tech. You know, Oddworld is, is still going for that 2D, you know, Planescape. You know, they've made it 2.9D instead of like a full 3D game. So it's still 2D. You know, it's similar to like the 2.5 Assassin's Creed games, I guess. Um, uh, and Crash Bandicoot 4, you know, in, in saying that, like, yes, Crash Bandicoot 4 looks like a much more modernized game, but at its core, it still looks like it's got a lot of heart from the original Crash trilogy. And so, you know, I'm excited to play both of those games just on the basis that, you know, they, they're still going to have that nostalgia factor, I guess, because of the fact that, you know, they play and probably feel like the older games, but they do still bring a, a bit of the new to it as well to try and, I guess, rejuvenate these franchises and, and, and get them back into the, into the forum. I'm excited for those ones. Now, there was one indie game that I'm really, really excited to see. This one here. Like...
Like, Seifu, this game here, I'm really intrigued. I don't think, I think this is the first time we've heard about Seifu, but this game I'm actually really intrigued to kind of check out as well, because uh, it, it, it's definitely, it, it's got that beat em up style to it, you know, and, 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 a gameplay that I'm, I'm, I can really get behind as well. So, um, we don't know a hell of a lot about this game because I only just announced it, but it's definitely one that I'm really curious to see more of uh, going forward. And the, and the other game they showed was Returnal. This is the other one that I'm really excited for. Like, it's, you know, I, I didn't know a lot about this game coming into the state of play because they, I, I don't think anybody knew a lot about this game because they barely showed anything about this game in the previous uh, Sony press conference. But we got to see a little bit more gameplay here. And I actually wasn't, a, you know, I, I, whether I thought it was going to be a first-person game or not, when I saw that it was actually a third-person game, this has got me a hell of a lot, excited, a lot more excited to actually play this game now because it's like... You know, uh, I know you can't see stuff because she's sitting behind me, but but I, I, I'm really, really excited to jump into this game now and, and, and play some more of uh, of Returnal. So, um, I, I know some people probably don't, you know, are probably not going to be a big fan of the state of play event that we've got today, especially on the back of last week's Nintendo Direct, where, you know, some people kind of criticised it because we didn't quite get a lot of information about some new big-ish games. Um... This one here does seem like it's kind of going to be similar to it because, you know, the big games that we heard about, you know, Crash 4 and Soulstorm, we knew they were coming. Um, you know, Final Fantasy VII Remake Integrate, that I don't think we, anyone kind of suspected was coming. So that's probably going to be the big one. But because that's not a brand new game, that is still just like a, an upgrade from a, pre, a previously released game. We, we know, in terms of the big, big heavyweight games like Horizon, New, you know, new Dawn or, um, or God of War, for example, I mean... Those games are just going to have to sit on a little bit longer and just wait for information to come out. You know, who knows? Maybe at the next state of play or when Sony do their... I mean, look, we'll find out more about those big games at some point this year, I'm sure. But um, as for today's, uh, you know, state of play event, between Returnal, Sifu, even Kena, I mean, those three games alone have given me um, a lot to look forward to going forward. And then, of course, Soulstorm and Crash 4. And then eventually when we get to playing Final Fantasy VII Remake. So thank you. For everyone who came in to hang out with me on this uh, on this reaction with uh, Sony's State of Play for uh, 2021, or their first State of Play, I should say. If you guys did enjoy this video, please hit the like button below, and also subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this going forward. Um, also on the channel, I do also record Let's Plays, and I upload videos of various games and walkthroughs that I've done. Um, and I'm soon also going to start uploading some, some indie game playthroughs as well. Also... Uh, I do stream on Twitch as well. Uh, I, I, at the moment, I'm streaming three days a week. So if you do want to follow me on Twitch, you can click the link below in the description and drop me a follow on uh, on Twitch. So that way you can get notified the next time I go live. If you guys have any feedback in terms of like, you know, what other videos you want to see on the channel going forward, whether it's more reaction videos to specific events or, you know, what type of games you want to see me play through, I guess, just leave messages in the comments and, and, and I'll get to them. Until next time, look after yourselves. I hope you guys are enjoying your time. Uh, I hope you guys again enjoyed this state of play and I hope you guys all look after yourselves. Please be safe out there. Until next time, guys. Bye.